In this video, we will talk about classifying a triangle and learn a bunch of vocabulary words that will help us to be able to describe a triangle completely. First of all, what is a triangle? You've definitely seen these before, but a triangle is just a polygon with three sides. So this would be one example of a triangle. Triangles have three sides. They also have three vertices, each of these points that is where the sides meet is called a vertex. And all together, the shape, the triangle has three vertices. The word vertices is the plural of the word vertex. Another thing that you should know is that the three angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. And you will work more with this later and learn why and be able to prove it. But for right now, you should just know that the angles have to add up to 180 degrees. So those are the basics for a triangle. Now we can classify triangles based on its sides and also based on its angles. So first, let's talk about classifying a triangle based on its angles. There are three possible classifications. You can have an obtuse triangle, you can have an acute triangle, and you can have a right triangle. Every triangle will be one of these three angle classification types. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with at least, or excuse me, one obtuse angle. It would be impossible to have more than one obtuse angle. So this would be an example of an obtuse triangle because it has one obtuse angle. I can tell that that angle is obtuse because it looks to be bigger than a right angle. An acute triangle is a triangle that has only acute angles. So that means that all three angles in the triangle are acute. That means all the angles are less than 90 degrees. Remember that the word obtuse means bigger than 90 degrees. A right triangle is a triangle with one right angle. So this would be an example of a right triangle. And remember, we notate a right angle with a little square. Keep one thing in mind, which is that all three of these types of triangles do have acute angles in them. But to be an acute triangle, it has to have all three angles that are acute. If you happen to have a triangle where all three angles are the same, it's a special type of triangle called an equiangular triangle. That prefix equi means the same. So equiangular means all angles are the same. And remember, we can notate that angles are the same using little angle markings. And so since all the markings show one arc, that means all three angles are the same. Now, because we know that the three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees, it means that each of these angles would have to be 60 degrees in order to end up adding to 180. Now let's talk about how we can classify triangles based on their side lengths. So there are three ways to classify based on side lengths. They are scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. And the side classifications are just based on if any of the side lengths are the same length. So an equilateral triangle means all three sides are the same length. And we can notate that sides are the same length by putting a corresponding dash through each side. So all sides, same length. An isosceles triangle would be a case where two sides are the same length and the third is different. So two sides the same length. And the third classification based on sides is scalene. And that's where all three sides are different lengths. So no sides, same length. 
So at this point, you should be able to classify any triangle two ways, based on its angles and based on its sides. So for example, you could have an acute isosceles triangle or an obtuse scalene triangle. It just depends on what the angles and sides are in that particular triangle.